Since you asked so nice, let's do some simple alerts using just Streamerbot and OBS. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Thades, and I'm gonna walk you through this. It's easy, I promise. Before we start, you'll need Streamerbot and OBS set up and talking to each other in Twitch. You'll want these three green circles. Links below in the doobly-doo to get you moving there. Use them, then come back here. Straight away, hop into OBS and make a new scene called Alerts Pop-Up. In the Alerts Pop-Up scene, right-click in Sources and go Add Text GDI. Edit the name and add username to it. Leave the rest. You'll thank me later. Click OK and make it pretty. Make it fit your brand. You can change it later. Just make sure to set every field with the word alignment in it to center while you're doing this. Once it's pretty, right click the source and go transform, edit transform. In the window that pops up, find positional alignment and set it to center. This makes it so no matter the width of the name, it'll be centered in your alert. Twitch names cap out at 25 characters. So sorry Z, here's our test stand to make sure all possible names fit. Now, copy the username source, paste the duplicate, and rename it to message. Make sure you have the message source selected, change the test text, and drag it where you want it. Since it's a copy, we don't have to do all the centering again. Right-click in the source pane and go Add Browser Source. Name it Profile Pick, and under Properties, set Width to 300 and Height to 300. That's gonna be the size of the profile image that Twitch gives us. Click OK and move it where you want it. Next, click into your main scene, right click in its source pane and go add scene existing and select the alerts pop-up you just built. Size and position it as you like, then set a source transition. To get the alerts pop-up to pop up, we need a source transition. Right click the source and go show transition and pick a cool one. There are a lot of cool options here. I like slides, you can use a fade, but I wanna use Exeldro's Move plugin, which you can set up very easily, use the link below. The Move plugin properties has position fields in it, which we wanna make center. So find them all and do that. Click OK, and again, right click the alerts pop up and go to show transition and set a delay. 250 milliseconds is pretty fast, so we're gonna bump it up. And then click copy while still in this menu. Then once more, right-click the alerts pop-up, go hide transition, change the delay here as well, and click paste to port the settings from the show over to hide. Now, when you click the eyeball off and on, you'll see what your alert will look like when it pops up. Now we're gonna go to Streamerbot, but first behold how this is all going to work. First, Streamerbot will get details from Twitch about an alert that happened. Second, Streamerbot will put those details into the alerts pop-up scene we made in OBS while the alerts pop-up is hidden. Finally, Streamerbot will tell OBS to show the alerts pop-up. Then, after a moment, it will tell OBS to hide it again. Let's do this. Get into Streamerbot and make an action queue. Click on the action queues tab, then the queues tab. Right-click in the big white area, click Add, then name this new queue Twitch Triggers Queue. Check the box that says Blocking. This will make sure each and every alert, or channel point reward if you want, will wait its turn, and you won't have a whole slew of alerts all blasting your ears and eyes in the exact same moment. Next, click the Actions tab, and let's make our first alert. Right-click in the Actions pane, left side of the window, and click Add. Name it Alert, New Follow. In the Group field, type Twitch Triggers to keep things organized. Click the Q drop down and select the one we just made, then click OK. Streamerbot is watching Twitch for alerts the whole time it's up, but to react to that information, we need to set up a trigger. Right click in the Triggers pane, top right, and go Twitch, Channel, Follow. Now, whenever Streamerbot sees a follow happen on Twitch, whatever you put in the actions sub-action pane will happen. Now we need to take the details of this alert and feed them into OBS, setting the alert up for display. In the sub-actions pane, right-click and go OBS, Sources, Set GDI Text. 
In the little window that pops up, make sure the scene is set to alerts pop up, set source to the username source you created in OBS, then in the text box, put percent sign user percent sign. Now we do it for the message. Right click the same pane, go OBS, sources, set GDI text, feel it should be the same, and say something nice in the text for your new follower. We need to ask Twitch for the profile picture. So right click in the sub actions pane and go Twitch, user, get user info for target. And the window that pops up, set source type to user and click OK. Now right click in the sub actions pane and go OBS, source, set browser source URL. Check the scene in source fields and then you need to type a big thing here that's not as scary as it looks. Just type it. It's there in the box. It's also on screen now. Pause if you need to. Make sure you match uppercase and lowercase precisely. No spaces. And if it looks exactly the same, it will work. I promise you can do this. Now we show the alert, wait, and hide it. Right click the sub actions pane and go OBS, sources, set source visibility state. In the window that pops up, set scene to your main scene and source to alerts pop up. Make sure the state is set to visible. Then right click the action you just created and click duplicate sub action. Double left click into this new one and change state from visible to hidden. So that's show and hide, but we need it to wait in the middle. Right click in sub actions and go core delay and put in the number of milliseconds to wait. I'm going with four seconds here for the demo, but you do you. Finally, click and drag the delay you just created so that it's between the show and hide. Show, wait, hide. Now, if you wanna play a sound with your alert, right click in the sub actions and go core sounds, play a sound, then pick a good sound. Mm, yeah, let's do this one. Click test to hear it and adjust the volume slider if you need to. Then uncheck the finish playing before continuing. We'll control timing with delays and not just wait for the sound. I recommend dragging the sound up in the script here so that it happens before the delay and thus it will feel like part of the alert. Finally, let's test it out. Make sure you can see OBS, right click the trigger, then click test trigger. Next, let's make some more alerts. This would be a lot easier going forward because we can duplicate the existing action then just modify it to be the new alert. Go ahead and duplicate that new follow alert. Right click and edit it and call it first time sub. A first time sub is just that. It's not a subscription renewal and it's not a gift sub. It means someone just subbed you because they thought you're cool. Make sure you're clicked into the first time sub action and you need to delete the trigger that's already here and create a new one. Just right click and delete. Then right click again and go Twitch, subscriptions, subscription. Click OK to make this work for all subscription tiers. The username is correct, but we need to change the message. This is a subscription, not a follow. To commemorate this cool thing happening, let's display an animated image instead of their profile picture. Hop back into OBS, go to the alerts pop-up and create an image source. Pick a good one. There we go. Put it where it goes and hide it with the little eyeball. Back in StreamerBot, I'm going to disable the profile pic actions in this action since I'm covering it up with the best image on the internet. I might change my mind later, which is why I'm not deleting them. Just right click as I'm doing here and uncheck enabled. Now we have a new source to show and hide as part of our alert. So like before, right click in the sub actions pane and go OBS, sources, set source visibility state. And this time the source is in alerts pop-up. Pick the image you created and make sure the state is set to visible. We made the alerts pop-up wait 750 milliseconds to hide. So we want to make the image wait as well. So it doesn't vanish while the alert is exiting. You know the drill now. Duplicate the sub action you just created and change the state from show to hide. Then right click in that pane and go core delay and make a delay that's at least the duration of the alerts hide transition.
Now let's add a resub alert. Duplicate that follow alert, rename it resub, and replace the existing trigger. The trigger you want now is Twitch, Subscriptions, Resubscription. You're probably seeing the pattern here, right? Now, change the meshes to what you want and use cumulative with percent signs to write the number of months they've subbed. You can see all of the variables you have available to use by popping into the documentation. Maybe you want different stuff happening for different tiers or you want to share the month streak. This is how you find it. One thing you can also do is have Streamerbot send a message to chat for each alert. If you're using Streamerbot, you probably know how to do this already, but just in case, right-click and go Twitch, chat, send message to channel. You can use the same variables here too. Here's a bonus alert, incoming raid. The song remains the same. This time the trigger is Twitch raid raid, and the variable you probably want is percent viewers percent. Pause if you need to. Personally, I like to have my bot shout out whoever rated me to save my mods the trouble. Note that user will include the capitalization the user has in their name, while username is their username in a lowercase. You have the power now. Create alerts for gift subs and gift bombs. Here are the magic words. You can do this now. I believe in you. Thanks for everything. Second time I'm recording this, I do have mic audio this time. I was in the wrong scene. If you have questions about how I did any of this stuff or how I do anything else, feel free to ask in the comments, pop into my Twitch channel. My setup on Twitch is way more complicated than this, which my viewers know, which is maybe why they asked me to, to do this. That's it. That's the video. Thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. This took kind of a long time. It's my first time doing this much editing, this many red arrows. I hope the red arrows were helpful. They're the kind of thing that helps me. I recorded this in 1080p instead of 4K, which is why there's some artifacting around the zooms. That's going to annoy me. But if I went back and fixed it all, this would take another three weeks. So it's done. It's good. Let me know if you want something else like this. Okay, bye.